Hi guys, I'm Andy and in today's video we will be carrying on if my heart had wings. So basically last time we we were given a lesson on airplanes and gliders but I've forgotten everything that was said to us <laughs> like I knew I would. <laughs> so yes, let's see what else happens. We'll have to carry on and see. So, let's start, guys. Yeah, I hope everyone is it. having a good day. Right, here we go. Because of Anne Chan's kindness, I felt a little tearful. Oh, yeah! We met Anne Chan, didn't we? We met Anne Chan near the end of the last, last video. I remember that now. Yeah, I do apologise guys, but yes, we met another friend. He sensed how I was feeling and started to mess up my hair again. <laughs> Don't just hate that when people just try and mess up your hair. Like, get off me, leave my hair alone. <laughs> this time it wasn't so rough. Guy, I love it. So now you're the door mother of this place, huh? Blame my mother for that. <laughs> she tricked me into it, but yes, I am. Yeah. The flying fish manner, that brings back memories. We used to play here a lot. We would come sneaking in. Oh. <laughs> it's a nice big place though. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, because it is such a big place inside. I'd love to live there. I really would. That wasn't what Andrew was talking about just now. Mm, yeah. By the way, is that girl a border here? Which one? I can't remember which one is in. Someone was hiding in the shadow. The gate. Oh, okay. Sneaky, sneaky, but okay. Oh, Katori, it would be, wouldn't it? Katori! Why is she hiding, though? I don't understand why she's hiding. It looks like she couldn't get past because Anne-Chan and I were in the way. Oh, yep. Apologies. Her wheelchair. She could have just said, you know, could I get past, please? That's all she had to say. She could have just spoke to us normally, exactly. But instead, she was hiding and watching us. Normally, people would just say, look, excuse me, can I just get past, please? But no, she just decided to hide and watch. Hello there, Missy. <laughs> she's very nervous. I'm, I'm, it's like I said before, I think she's not very socialised. Victoria was still being cautious, but returned the greeting. Of course, can't be rude. No, cannot be rude. Then we got out of her way. Then we went into her composed mode. Oh, went into a composed mode. Really? And entered the dormitory. Okay. <laughs> so that girl lives here, huh? Yeah, she does. Yes. You know her. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see her in the town town from time to time. Okay. There's a big dog near my factory, you know. Big dog. Okay. Huh? Pedigree. <laughs> what dog is it? <laughs> There's a big dog that goes by the name. I'm sure it was Saint Bernard. Oh, okay. Okay, Saint Bernard. Okay. Yesterday, she was hanging around in the pedigree. What is that then? 
Was she by any chance trying to stroke his head? That's what you usually do when you see a dog. <laughs> stroke them. Yeah, that's what it looks like. She was giving him food, but the dog only eats food from his owner. That's fair enough. That is fair enough. Some dogs are quite shy from taking food from other people other than their owner. So yeah, I get that. I get that. As I thought, yeah. That was in the things I want to do list. Stroke the head of the big dog in the neighbourhood. Uh, it's really scary, but it might be unexpectedly <laughs> friendly. If possible, I'd like to ride around on its back. <laughs> I still can't get that bit. Oh my god. So she was skipping school to go and do things like that. Exactly. See, we knew she was perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with her. But hey, there you go. Well, I'll forget about Katori for now. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, welcome back, Oi. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. It's nice to see him too. It's good to be back and turn there. Yeah. Even if, if it was because of our mother. <laughs> I seemed a little embarrassed as I answered and Anchan grinned at me. If you have any problems, don't hesitate to ask. I'm your big brother, right? Parting with those words, Anchan turned to leave. Oh, that's right, Anchan. <laughs> what now? I know this is a bit soon, but I have a favour to ask. Already? Wow, okay. I took the parts that Amine uh, had left with me out of my bag. Okay. Oh yeah, she gave us some parts, didn't she? Remember that now. Along with it was a memo with the dimensions and so on written down. Okay. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting stuff, but yeah. She gave us some bits, didn't she? I need some parts the same as these. Would you be able to get one? Fingers crossed. Anne Chan's family run a factory. Oh, nice. It's known as a town factory. It seems that they manufacture special order made parts. That's handy, isn't it? Anne Chan works there right now. Oh, okay. We won't make him lose his job though, will we, if we do this? If An Chan can't do it, he might be able to use his connections with other engineers to introduce me to other factories. Okay, yep. Fair enough. Fingers crossed he can do it. An Chan looks at the broken parts and the memo. Okay. A diaphragm, huh? Yeah, okay. Uh, he quickly answered. Yes, that was quickly answered. I'll contact you once I get my hands on it. Oh, lovely. Thanks, An-chan. Yeah. No problem. Oh, at least he can do it. Okay, right. m and will be happy. An-chan raised one hand and turned to leave. Look at that inside of that place, my goodness. Thanks to the fact that I was able to meet Anchan, I went back to my room in a good mood. I put my hand on the saddle of the bicycle in the corner of my room. I'm proud to have been able to stand on the podium in front of a buddy like Anchan. Oh. Oh God. What do you want? That looks like an expensive bike and a pointless. <laughs> Before I realised, Katori was next to me. Is there something you're wanting? <laughs> what are you doing here exactly? Why, why is she there? 
I came in here with you. Didn't you realize? Well, obviously not. <laughs> obviously not. I hadn't realized. No. Otherwise, I would have said something. Do you want something? <laughs> yes. What does she want? Without answering my question, Katori opened a drawer in the desk. Okay. Fun? In here? Maybe not. What's she looking for? Hmm. How about in here? What is she looking for? I have absolutely no idea. It looks like she's searching for something. Yes. But what though? That is the question. What? Hmm. Yeah. Not here. That's strange. I was sure that you'd have it. Have what? What am I missing here? <laughs> okay. There was nothing that I didn't want her to see, so I was unfazed when I questioned her. Yeah. Yeah, but what was what's she wanting though? What's she looking for? I don't quite understand what she's trying to look for. What are you doing? Yeah. We need to know what you're up to. Looking for something. You can see that, can't you? Yes, but what are you looking for? <laughs> we need to know so that we can help you find it. My goodness. <laughs> I know, but but shouldn't you at least get the consent of the owner of the room? Exactly. You basically followed me into my room and started rummaging through my stuff. Looking for something without letting us know what it is you're looking for first. A little bit rude, wouldn't you say? It's our room that you've just wandered into. Rudeness. Absolute rudeness. I think I know what she's wanting. I now realise I think I know. Because a couple of streams back, well, a couple of videos back, just say. Um, we found something that she had dropped on the floor, hadn't we? I think, I can't, I keep forgetting what it's called. I think it was a withdrawal notice from school. Is that what she's looking for? I don't know. Mm. What about you? Give it back now. I know you've got it. Got what? Exactly, got what? <laughs> It's, it's, it's what? Apparently she was looking for the withdrawal notice, there we go, that I had picked up before. Yes, because she dropped it, didn't she, and wandered off in a huff, like she usually does. <laughs> yeah, and then for some reason when she came back in the room and asked us if we'd seen something, for some reason we just told her, no, we haven't seen anything at all. I don't know why we lied about it. But yeah, that is what she's looking for. Which we do have. Because <laughs> we're sneaky like that. I don't know what you're looking for. But I, uh, but I don't think it's in here. It is, but we're not saying nothing. <laughs> Keeping it stum. <laughs> really? You definitely sound suspicious, really. <laughs> There's no mistaking it. I know you have it. Rude, but okay. Did you say something? <laughs> oh dear. No, okay. <laughs> Seems like her search has come to a stop. Yes. Plus, this is our room. She did not ask for our consent first. She might as well just leave. However, Katori isn't leaving the room and continues looking around the Oh, really? Continues looking around the room. Rude. Get out. This is the first time I've been in a boy's room and it'll be the last. <laughs> You're not coming back in here. <laughs> no way. It's pretty tidy, isn't it? I expected 
there to be trash everywhere. Well, not necessarily. I mean, yeah, some boys can be messy, and others like to be nice and tidy. So, yeah, and we're one of the ones that are nice and tidy. Rudeness, this is our room. You just budged away in here. How dare you. I don't have many things. Well, there you go. That's why it's nice and tidy. Because he doesn't have many things. Thanks to that, moving house was easy. Well, yeah, it always does make it easier. When you've not got a lot. Easy. Katori was st staring straight at the bike. Which gave off a unique presence in my room. Okay, but why is she interested in the bike all of a sudden? What happened to your leg? Excuse me? What does she know about my leg? I panicked at being asked so frankly. Oh well, yeah. How did she even know? I... It's no big deal. And none of your business. <laughs> As well. If we wanted to tell her, we would have done already. Looks like she was listening to my conversation with Anchan. Ooh, that's a bit rude. I'm starting to dislike her a little bit. I don't know why. Hmm. I just had a bit of an injury. But look, it's fine now. Yeah, so just leave it. Leave the conversation at that. <laughs> you don't need to know anything else. I lightly swing my leg to show her. Yeah. Show her the proof. Is the injury the reason why you changed school? Uh, do I have to answer that? It's fine, really. Why do you ask? Yeah. She's being very nosy at the minute, isn't she? First rummaging through my stuff in my bedroom to find her withdrawal notice, which we do actually have, <laughs> by the way. And then she's asking us personal questions. Because she eavesdropped in our conversation. Rudeness. No reason, I just felt like it. Because you're, you're nosy, that's why. You're absolutely nosy. A nosy, nosy person. I don't like nosy people. <laughs> There's no need for you to worry about it exactly. It's not your problem, so you don't need to worry about it. It's part of my body, you know. I'm the I'm the one that only needs to you know only me that needs to worry about it. So yeah. <laughs> Who said I was worried about you? I'm not worried, not even a tiny bit. Then stop asking me questions that don't concern you. Seriously, just stop it. <laughs> My goodness. See you later. That was a waste of time. Yep, see you later. She doesn't need to ask us all these questions. It's like 20 questions. Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's our business. If we want her to know, we will tell her. My goodness. Just leave my room. Just, just go. <laughs> Katori makes a straight face and goes back to her room. Yes, please do. Please leave. You're going again tomorrow, aren't you? Oh, to school. Oh, good question. We'll find out, won't we? Oh, to the to the garage at lunch. Oh, okay. <laughs> I is that I that's a no. I'm not going. Oh, okay. It's what it felt like she was going to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going. Right, okay, you better go. She answered and panicked as she left my room. Why is she panicking though? Looks like I should make three lunch boxes this time. Oh yeah, because Amine, Amine accidentally ate a lunch box that was meant for, for Katori and not her. That was funny actually. Yeah, <laughs> just stuffing her face with somebody else's food. Yeah, my goodness. 
preparedness. <laughs> so yeah, I think three lunch boxes is a good good idea, to be honest. <laughs> Very good idea. <laughs> Hi, lovely. Today didn't go well either. Oh dear. What's that? Today's breakfast was another dis <gasps> dismal failure. Oh no, really? All of the boarders showed their faces in the dining hall for breakfast, but the only one who finished her meal was Kanaka. Oh, really? My goodness, okay. There must have been something wrong with it. No, probably just something wrong with them. <laughs> Maybe they weren't hungry. All I have to do is make meals and clean. Uh, what a piece of cake. Well, there you go. If they're not going to eat it, that's not his problem, is it? It's theirs. It's what I thought I accept, uh, when I accepted the job as a door mother. Uh, but my confidence is gradually fading. Oh, no. That's not good. Oh, hi! What are you brooding over, you traitor? Yeah, I don't understand this, because one minute he was so happy to see us, then the next two has given it, you traitor, I can't trust you anymore. And I'm thinking, what is going on here? I haven't seen him in years. You know, I don't understand what's going on here. <laughs> My goodness. What do you want? There you go. <laughs> Matsu, Masatsugu, joining me on the way to school, went out of his way to come and sling verbal abuse. Exactly. If that's all you're going to do, sling abuse at me. Just wander off. Seriously. A few things happened at the dormitory. Dealing with girls could be tough. Oh dear. In that case, you should talk to me. That's because I have a girlfriend. Woohoo for you! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, isn't she a freshman? At Susman Girls School. Oh, okay. <laughs> Susman Girls High School is a school for rich girls. Oh my goodness, okay. And it's famous even in this neighborhood. Okay. The uniform has a reputation for being cute. So fans come from far and wide just to take a look. Weirdos. <laughs> oh my goodness. Her name's Eri-chan. Do you want to see a photo? Uh, I don't know, do we? <laughs> He looks like he's about to show me, so I go along with it. Oh yeah, not an agree, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Just go along with it, bless him. What? Seriously? She's cute. Oh, so he does actually have a girlfriend? <laughs> he wasn't just making it up. <laughs> then I apologise. Isn't she? <laughs> We're in a band together. Oh, nice. Every chance on vocals and bass and I'm on guitar. Nice. What well, about you can play guitar? Hmm, obviously. I practice like crazy for Every chan Now I can play as fast oh, as you, you agree. Oh. Da, ra, ra, ra. He goes as he shows off some great air guitar. Oh, bless him. <laughs> oh. Anyway, who the hell is Yungri? Oh, okay. Is that her name? Not another one as well about the bike. Hey, at your old school, you were riding bikes, weren't you? 
and what <laughs> yeah i was what about it exactly <laughs> what's everyone's business you know what's everyone so you know interested in the bike thing i don't understand it so you're not doing it anymore uh we even don't have a cycle racing club at our school though oh okay yeah i don't do it anymore why are people so interested in the bike thing i don't get it first katori now this person i don't get it hmm Mata Sugu's face seemed to say it's got nothing to do with me though. Exactly. That's my business. <laughs> That's my business. Most people stop going on about what it's seriously though. I mean, you know, it's a bike. What's so fascinating about a bike? Yeah, I used to ride it, now I don't. What of it? <laughs> you know. Didn't you get on the podium at some huge race meet? I'm guessing this lot have just like been talking about me behind my back. That's what it seems like. That is what it seems like. Did you hear that from Anchan? Uh... Oh, there you go. Everyone's talking about it. There you go. Behind my back. Anchan took Agfa and Mataru that they should go with him and cheer for you at the next race. Okay. Well, he told me too. Hmm. That made me go a bit red. Hmm. But why is everyone fussing about it though? Seriously. I don't get it. Hey, don't get the wrong idea. I want to go so that I can see you lose miserably. Ooh, how rude. I wasn't planning on going so that I could cheer for you or anything. Then don't bother coming, mate. Seriously. If you just want to watch me lose, then just don't show up. Seriously. You're not really a friend, are you? Yeah, yeah, I get it. Don't get so flustered. <laughs> Goodness. Agfa felt bad about it. Uh, that's why she couldn't see you at your best. That she couldn't see you at your best. Oh, yeah. You knew about that, didn't you? Did we? No, I didn't know. No, there you go. No. Oh. I never thought that I would make it to the podium. But you did. You did. Even if I knew it was too far away for me to say, come and watch me. Exactly. Exactly. People might not have been able to make it. If it was so far away. Even so, you still didn't contact us. Oh god, here we go. Moan, moan, moan. <laughs> Same goes for both of us. Besides, I sent you a New Year card every year, didn't I? Exactly, when it comes to friendship, it does work both ways. It's just not one-sided, you know. Not one-sided, it's both ways. You know, you know, there's two people involved or a few people when it comes to friendship. It doesn't just work one way. It really doesn't. Go, both got to put the effort in. <laughs> you mean the pre-printed ones they sell at the convenience store? Oh goodness! Oops. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you did the same thing. Anyway, your New Year cards usually arrive at the end of January. Oh no! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> bit late, isn't it? You should just be thankful that I send you one back. You... Oh. Oh. 
Oh, I found the odd couple. <laughs> yep, you have indeed. You all day out. Hi, Agatha. <laughs> Hi, Agatha. <Arthur>. Morning. <laughs> Oh, hmm? What's up, Mabel? Yeah. Uh, Masatsugu was sneaky hiding in my shadow. Why is that then? It's nothing. Don't get too friendly with me, or Eri chan will get angry. Oh dear. <laughs> Oops. Okay, okay. She's such a cute, cute girlfriend, isn't she? Oh, so she's met her then. Jokingly, Agatha deliberately <laughs> keeps her distance from Masakusugu as she walks. Oh, okay. Masatsugu comes up beside me and gives me a little poke in the ribs. Why is that then? Rude. Very rude. That thing we were talking about just now. Don't say anything to Agatha, okay? Oh. Okay. What was it you said though? I can't remember. What thing? There you go. It's that thing. <laughs> oh. About the fact that she wanted to go and watch your race. Why can't we mention it? Oh, why not? Okay, I got it. But why not? Why can't we say anything? Hmm. Bit of an odd one. Is it the sort of thing that needs to be kept a secret? Why though? I don't see why that should be kept a secret. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Why are you guys, two guys, like, look like you're getting so clingy? Hmm. <laughs> what, what do you mean? Who'd want to get near this guy? <laughs> oh, how rude. Ew, gross. <laughs> you don't have to actually spit. <laughs> Oh <laughs> You're getting along so well. I'm so jealous. We can all hang out, you know. <laughs> Shut up, I Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, don't say weird things like that. <laughs> <That's up. laughs> Oh, here we are. Lunch time. That's the sound of my doorbell, just very slowly. <laughs> Today, I didn't eat my lunchbox early. Okay. As I bathed uh, bath in this tiny sense of achievement and got my lunchbox out, Katori had already disappeared from the classroom. Okay, so just beat me to it. Okay. Come out with her. As she looked out in front into the hallway, she was moving back and forth as if she was saying, Should I go forward? No, maybe I should go back. No, go, you know, you said you were going to go there. We can go together. Are you waiting for me? I doubt it. <laughs> I very much doubt it. Letting out a cry, not really befitting a pretty little girl, Katori found herself with her left hand as if to calm herself down. We seem to scare the, scare the hell out of her, don't we? Every time. We don't mean to, sorry. <laughs> don't scare me like that. I do apologise. <laughs> I do apologise. I didn't know that that was going to happen. She's quite jumpy, isn't she? I'll admit that, she's very jumpy at the minute. Uh, sorry, I only wanted to speak to you, that's all. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure you're going to go with us and not wander off somewhere else. 
You're going, aren't you? To the garage? Hope she is. Yes, I am. Oh, I'm glad she is, though. Yes, I am. It's not like I'm waiting for you, though. Well, then, you know, carry on. On your way. I'll be right behind you. <laughs> okay, shall we go? I push her wheelchair on the way. At least that way we know she's going to get there. Free push her. <laughs> huh? Hey, don't just stop pushing me. Well, I will do, so then I know that you're going to get there. That's why I'm doing it. And that you're not going to wander off somewhere else. Here, hold this, would you? What are you holding on to? I pass my bag to her. Oh, so I have my bag, why not? No, hey. <laughs> lazy bugger. <laughs> you could just put that on his back, surely. <laughs> hey, don't treat me like baggage storage. Oh, you're sat in your wheelchair. <laughs> so he's thinking, right, while she's sat there, <laughs> she can hold on to my school bag. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Here we are, back in the garage. Looks like nobody's here. Oh, she's not turned up yet. Okay, we'll have to wait for her then. The garage was open, but there was no one there. Oh, okay. Right, yeah, we're going to have to wait for her then, aren't we? Basically. For some reason, it felt like Amine was always here. So it was a little surprising. Yeah, she is there quite a lot, isn't she? The air conditioning is not turned on, so it's quite humid. Oh dear. That can't be good. What should we do? Hmm. <laughs> Why are you asking me? Because well, I am. I'm just saying, you know, what should we do about it? So rude. Victoria subconsciously put her hand on her stomach. Okay. Shall we have our lunch in here? I made one for you too, Katori. Seeing as last time she didn't really get hers, did she? Because <laughs> somebody else ate that. <laughs> well, I mean, leftovers from breakfast. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Victoria didn't come to have any breakfast this morning. Oh dear. So she should have had, uh, shouldn't have any way of knowing what food was served exactly it would be a surprise for her instead <laughs> is this also a part of your job as door mother well no it's just nice to you know not completely waste the leftovers and eat them you know don't want it to be a complete waste hmm no i'm just meddling <laughs> Well, here we go, look. One, two, three. I put the three lunch boxes on the workbench. I went to the trouble of making one for Amine too, though. Yes, I'm hoping she turns up. Hmm, fingers crossed that she does. The air conditioner isn't turned on in the garage. So if I just leave it here, it'll go bad. Yeah. There's a refrigerator, so I decided to put it in the exactly keep it fresh. If I leave a note on the desk, she'll realise and then eat it, won't she? She does have a tendency <laughs> to forget to eat, though, doesn't she? We found that out. She can go hours and hours without eating anything. I think I remember her saying to us that she once went without food for about 70 hours. And that's just crazy. It's like, how can anyone forget to eat? Surely your belly's going to start rumbling at some point. And you're going to think, oh, right, I've not had anything to eat. I need to have something to, to munch on. How can you forget to eat? I don't understand that. <laughs> I really don't. I never forget to eat. My goodness. Could you turn on the electric fan? Tori turns on the nearby electric fan. Okay. Yeah, I think yeah, that's turns up. What about the air conditioner? Hmm. I can't find the remote controller. Oh, okay. It's probably buried somewhere. 
Okay, I'm guessing it's a little bit of a mess in there. We open up the lunch boxes in the place that gets the full force of the wind from the electric fan. Okay. What's this? Curry? Oh, nice. This morning's breakfast was curry. I'm sorry, curry for breakfast. Um, who does that? <laughs> I mean, a curry in the evening for dinner. I get that. But, you know, for breakfast, I've never had it for breakfast. Honestly, say that. I haven't. Different. You don't like it? She's got a point there, actually. <laughs> the people usually put curry in the lunch boxes. Not really, I don't think. You can complain after you've eaten it. <laughs> oh, that's it. Eat first and complain. Yeah. Vittori has a meek look on her face as she moves the cold curry towards her mouth. Oh. It's tasty even though it's cold. Oh, at least she's enjoying it. It would be good if we had a microwave though. True. Very true. For a little while, the two of us quietly ate our curry. Oh, okay. Has she still not turned up yet? I hope, she I hope she's alright. Hmm. Yeah. Today, there is no sheet covering the glider. Look at that. I gazed at the simple, sleek shape of its body and thought it was beautiful. Nicely coloured. I do like the colours. But then again, I do like purple. <laughs> I imagined the aircraft cutting through the air as it flew. But yeah, everything that Amine told us about a glider and an airplane like it, I knew it would, it's just all gone out of my mind. I don't remember a thing that she said to us. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> when riding a bicycle, your greatest en enemy is the wind. Oh, horrible. Huh? Chloe's face seemed to say, What is this guy <laughs> talking about all of a sudden? Oh dear. But I carry on regardless. Oh goodness, she's like, what? <laughs> oh dear. The worst thing is when you have a headwind. While it is constantly pushing you back, you have to keep pedaling. Yep, you do indeed. Lovely sky, look at that. I face the wind coming through the electric fan, set to strong. Oh my goodness. <laughs> And I remember that feeling a little, uh, the feeling of the wind gradually draining my stamina all there. That's why when we ride a bicycle, we try to find ways to reduce air resistance. Not just the shape of the bike or the helmet. Mm -hmm. During the race, we cooperate with the members of other teams and form a group while riding. I thought that when riding a bike, it would be better if the wind wouldn't wouldn't blow. Yeah. I mean wind. <laughs> this morning, uh, but this thing rides the wind to fly. Hmm. <laughs> She's still not turned up yet, oh my goodness. Even though it doesn't have a jet engine or a propeller, if we hadn't actually seen it flying that day, which we did, didn't we, when we first met, even with the real thing right in front of us, we wouldn't be able to imagine it flying. True. Speaking of which, Katori, how do you know about gliders? Hmm... Maybe she, she's a fan of gliders? She likes them? She didn't really know that much about them. That was the first time she had seen a real one. Oh, okay. Now I get ya. Now I get ya. 
ちょっと本で読んだだけ I don't really I just read about them in a book well that's fair enough somehow it seems like it's hard for her to answer so I decide not to go any further hmm yeah it does seem that way doesn't it Speaking of books, there's a bookshelf here, lined with many books. Oh, what books is there? I like books. Looking closely, they are all related to gliders or aircraft. Not surprised. <laughs> I pick one up and take a look inside. Ooh, snouty. <laughs> it's all in English. I can't read it. Oh no, oh bless. <laughs> It's not like my grades in English are bad, but with the level of English I have from studying at school, reading academic papers is really tough. Oh, bless. It's like, damn it, it's in English. I can't read it. <laughs> oh, bless him. It's like a Tory is the same. Oh, dear. Might have to wait till anime turns up. <laughs> This book has lots of photos. Well, that's handy. <laughs> there was a book that had many photos of gliders, like a catalogue. Ooh, okay. There are so many different types. The shape of the wings, the size, and so on. Ooh, okay. Even with gliders, there are so many different varieties. Yep. I guess there will be. Look at this. Oh, what? What's happening in this picture? Oh, do we get to see it? Oh, look at that. I really like that. That is lovely. Oh, yeah. It's flying over a mountain. That is a lovely picture. I like that a lot. It looked so nat natural, exactly. That I didn't really notice, but the glider was flying high enough that it could look it could look down on the mountain. Look at that. They they can fly that high, yeah. I guess so. Ori and I, without realizing, both look at the glider sitting over there. With its wings removed, we couldn't really grasp the full size of it, no, that's true. But at a glance, it didn't seem all that different to the glider in the photo. Oh, never know, it could be the same. Never know. Might be the same one. Emine had said that it could go above the clouds. Why has she not turned up yet? That's so unlike her. To not be there. Hmm. I hope she's alright. I wonder what it feels like to fly through the sky. Oh, I wouldn't want to know. I don't like heights. <laughs> I'd rather, like, pass on that one. It probably feels amazing to fly on the rising air currents. Would be just like being a bird, wouldn't it? Hmm. After we finished our lunch boxes, we stayed for a little longer. It's unlike Amine to not be there. We spent the time looking at books and admiring the glider. Well, you've got to do something to pass the time. Haven't you really? Why hasn't she turned up? Uh, when the bell rang, it felt like the time to enjoy ourselves was over, and I felt a little sad. Oh. Hmm? What's this? What? Just as we were about to go back to the classroom, Katori noticed a photo frame on Amine's desk. Okay, what is it? I wonder what this is. Oh. Curious. The weird thing was the weird thing was that 
there was a photo frame, but no photo inside. Okay. Strange. An empty photo frame had been placed there. That must have been put there for a reason. In her case, she probably managed to lose just the photo inside. Hmm, I don't know. Don't know. What's up? Huh? Huh? No, it's nothing. Let's go. It's hot in here. I can't stand it. I don't like the heat. I don't like too much heat either. Can't stand it. The moment we stepped out the sauna like garage, the air outside felt cool. Oh, lovely. Why wasn't Amine over there? Oh, look at that. Night sky. <gasps> lovely. Splash, splash, splash. Oh, okay. Going on here. Look at that. I do like that. Uh, I'm worn out. Oh dear. <laughs> What's he been doing? It's easy to say clean the bathroom. Oh God. But I never thought it would be such a big job. Depends how big the bathroom is. Doesn't it really? Plus, there's no air conditioning in there. Oh God. So I'm sweltering. Oh my goodness. That's the worst. The trouble is, if I don't do this every day during the summertime, the mould will start growing. Oh yeah, you don't want mould. That's the last thing you want. Yeah, not nice. It's not just about hygiene. It's kind of gross too. There's no way you can take a bath when there's mould growing in there. Oh no. I don't think I would. I definitely wouldn't want to have a bath if it's mould in it. Oh no, no, you wouldn't feel clean, would you? No. My cell phone rang. Oh, better answer it. On the display, it showed home. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Ari. It's me, Mother. <laughs> Hello, Mother. <laughs> What's up? Mm. Nothing really. I was just wondering how you're doing. How is it? Is it going smoothly? Um, <laughs> I don't know about smoothly. I can't say it's going smoothly with Ingo. I didn't think much of it when I accepted. But it turned out to be pretty tough. Yeah. Yes, of course. There's no such thing as an easy job. Well, there you go. Going to school every day and doing the work of a dorm mother is wearing me out. Oh dear. I realised this after only a few days. Oh my goodness. This is a lot of hard work. Oh dear. But that's but now that's better for you, isn't it? Why? <laughs> you can do it without judging up old memories. Well, if that's what you think, don't talk about it, oh dear. <laughs> or do you miss your mama? <laughs> A mother like you? Oh, be careful. My goodness. Ouch. She's the kind of mother who loves teasing her son. Okay. But, did she get me to do this dorm mother job because she was worried about me? I don't know. I'm so busy that I don't have time to dwell on things. Well, there you go. Busy, busy, busy. Busy, busy, busy. Speaking in the hallway, the other boarders may have been able to hear me, so I went back to my room. Oh dear. 
We continue our silly parent parent child conversation. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> My mother is a fiercely independent person and a hard working career woman. Oh blimey. <clears throat> Many things have been happening until recently. Well, they're still going on now. And we were living separately. Oh, okay. I'm a bit too old to be missing my mother, though. Not necessarily. You know, you're always going to miss your mum. Always going to miss your mum. <laughs> it's enough for me to just speak to her from time to time. Basically, he likes. She's alright in small doses, basically. <laughs> How's school? Don't ask. <laughs> it's going fine. Agatha is here too. Ah. Agatha chan, she's gotten so pretty, hasn't she? Recently, I saw her for the first time in a while, and I was so surprised. Let me guess, she's going to try and set us up. Me too. She's like a proper girl now. <laughs> oh, bless. Sheesh, you, wouldn't, you won't be able to think about her like that for much longer. Yeah, she's going to try and set us up, isn't she? Agatha Chan will get even more pretty from now on, won't she? She's outgoing and considerate, so she'll be very popular with the boys, no doubt about it. Uh-huh. Jeez, cut it out. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Making it quite obvious, you know. Now, now, you have such a sharp tongue. You remind me of someone. Oh, God, really? Yeah, you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Would a mother usually tell her son to go chasing after girls? Uh, no, not really. Not really. Okay, then, good luck. If you have any trouble, call me. Okay. <laughs> sure. Also, if you're finding it tough to do all of the housework, you can ask the boarders to help you. Like they're going to help me. I don't think they're going to help me. Well, that's probably good to do a little rotor so that certain people just can do certain tours on a, on like a certain day but yeah I don't think they're gonna go for that I don't think I don't think so the rent in that place is so cheap so they should help with things like that no they haven't it's been me constantly I'll think about it no, <laughs> we're gonna make. We're gonna tell them that they need, you know, need to do their bit. They're there as well. They need to help out. Okay. Good night, Aoi-chan. Yes. Good night, mother. <laughs> and that's the end of the call. She called me that on purpose because she knows I don't like it, and then ended the call. Yep. Good night, mother. <laughs> <laughs> My father is the one who chose to call me Aoi. Oh, really? Aoi. But it's kind of a girl's name, isn't it? Aoi? I don't know. So I was often teased about it, and it seems she still remembers. But it's Aoi. Does Aoi sound like a girl's name? I don't know. I don't know. I put down my phone and take a look at the boarding students' roster. There you go, we've got a roster. Did they help us? Did they heck? As for the boarders' jobs, cleaning their own room is a given, of course. Of course. Then there is cleaning the hallways and entrance as well as the dining hall. It's a big place. 
lots of cleaning. <laughs> On the other hand, my jobs are to prepare breakfast, which probably everyone tends to eat, <laughs> and dinner, clean up afterwards, clean the bathroom and the garden and other miscellaneous chores. Yeah, seems like we're doing all the chores though. Bit unfair, really. It is actually pretty tough. Maybe I should ask for some help. We do need it, but are we going to get it? That is the thing. Will we get the help? I don't know. Only one way to find out, and that's to ask them. Even if I can just get them to clean the bathroom, that would be a real lifesaver. Yeah. But they need to do the helpers with the rest as well. Not just one room. Because it is a lot for one person to do. It really is. Huh? Yuka? What's this? <laughs> Another one we just get the cup out of. <laughs> yes? <laughs> Why are they all so jumpy? Yuka, who is in the dining hall, the tall fourth grader, and the one who had been there the longest, seems surprised as I call out to her. Yes. We just scared her. Like we did Katori earlier. <sighs> what is it, Aoi? Yeah, what do we want? Can I ask you a question? We need help. Yeah. I lay out the roster that I was just looking at on the table where Yuka is sitting. Okay. Yuka, who should be used to seeing this? Looks at it with curiosity. I've actually never seen it before. <laughs> Katori doesn't have her name on the job roster. Hmm, okay. Starting with K Kanako, then Yuka, there are four names, but Katori's name is not there. I understand that though. Hmm. Huh, yes, but she... Yuka looks towards the dining hall door as she speaks. She's disabled, yeah. I was going to say, it won't be easy for her to do some like cleaning. Won't be easy for her. I see, so that's why. Thank you. Well, surely we should have known that. I would have known that, do you know what I mean? Obviously, someone else cleans her room for her. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, even I could have told you that. It's because she's disabled. She can't, you know, she doesn't find it easy to do the cleaning. Yeah. The scorching sun comes shining in. Oh, lovely. Up on the roof with nothing to block the sunlight. It feels even more like I'm being burned. Oh no. Not good. Date is hot as hell. Oh god. I don't like it too hot. I prefer the winter to be honest with you. I grumble as I wipe the sweat from my brow. Oh lovely. It's already seven o'clock. Nice and early. It's just before the peak of summer. And the sun is finally shining at full strength. Today is Saturday, so there's no school. Lovely. Day off. No. Not that he's able to relax. <laughs> he's busy, busy with doing bits and bobs. Now is my chance to get some of the door mother work done. Exactly. This morning, I've climbed up on the roof and I'm fixing leaks. Yeah, they've got to be done, haven't they? Can't leave them. This building is in pretty bad condition. Oh no. That's not good. I heard that the owner who collapsed a few days ago and who was also the caretaker here is an elderly woman. Oh, okay. Because it was a girl's dormitory with no guys around, there were quite were quite a few places that had been left damaged. Oh, 
Okay. This place is so old that I can't help wondering if originally it was aiming to be registered as a cultural heritage site. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. The owner, who is a widow, oh bless, opened the manor house as a student dormitory before I was born. Oh, okay. Okay. Which means that when we were calling this place the Witch's Mansion, students from Kifu Academy were already living here. Oh. Okay. Since then, the owner had been taking care of the boarding students like they were her own children or grandchildren. Ah, bless. However, since the redevelopment plans were brought forward, land prices and in Kazagura have been rising. Oh, prices are always rising. The owner's sons were hoping to let go of this place, and that's one of the reasons why I was brought to take on the dorm of his job. Oh, oh really? In such a hurry. Okay. Hmm. Okay. It might be hard to avoid getting involved in those kinds of adult matters. So I will just quietly get on with the work that I have to do exactly. Just get it done. Get it done. All right, that should do it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Finishing the repairs to the roof, I climbed down the ladder. Carefully, though. <laughs> okay, next is... Oh, what's the next job? Oh, hello, it's Hat. Hello, Hat. How you doing? <laughs> Hi, Hat. <laughs> Hat, who was pecking at the soil, had to come closer to where I was going to put my feet as I climbed down. If I stand on you, it's your own fault. Because <laughs> you were in the way. This is kind of besides the point, but ducks eat weeds and bugs. So it seems that if I just <laughs> leave him to it, he will maintain the garden. That's it, I'll leave you to look after the garden, yeah? <laughs> That's your job. <laughs> However, he will also peck at the flowers and so on too. So the person doing the gardening needs to watch out for that. Okay. Yes. Don't go ruining the garden completely. Tut tut. What's up, Hat? Where's your buddy? Hmm. Where's she gone? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what he's saying. But he definitely looks bored. Oh dear. Oh dear. Aren't we all at weekends? Sorry, but I've got work to do. When I get back, I'll give you a bath. Oh, nice. Lovely. <laughs> Have fun with that. Right, and I shall leave it there for today, guys. I will indeed. I'll be back with this in the next couple of days or so. But thank you so much for watching and stay safe, stay awesome and until next time guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.